What's up guys, Alex here back for another video and in this one we're going to be doing crypts with uh, Fortress. So these are going to be pretty similar, uh, most of them are going to be similar to uh, the Necro and Dungeon, um, the way that Necro and Dungeon do crypts. I do recommend that you guys do this either on Dracon uh, or with Null Marauders on any other hero. Uh, you can do the smaller ones um, with you know, any other hero and on regular nulls uh, with uh, speed 5, but it is a little bit more tricky. And the bigger one, I definitely recommend that you guys uh, either do on Dracon or with Marauders because you will even with Dracon be losing a little bit. All right, let's just get into this. So size 1, um, same as the Necro one, you just split the uh, nulls into... Um, two stacks. One will be twice as big as the other, so basically you just split them in three stacks uh, and combine the last one with the first one. So this stack is going to take out the zombies down here. Doesn't matter that we didn't one-shot them, we still are, will not lose a null. This stack goes down here. Now we take out these skeletons, move over here, move here, move here, wait, wait, hit, 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 that's it. All right, size two, same split. Pretty similar technique as well. Take out the whites first. Then we take out the zombies here. Move this null stack back here. Move here, move here. Wait, move this null up. Now take out this stack, take out this stack. So we didn't quite one-shot them, but uh, we still did not lose a null. In worst case scenario, we would have lost one null, which would still be acceptable. All right, size three. Um, <clears throat> this is where it differs a little bit, because uh, unlike with Dungeon and unlike with Necro, you actually don't need to have that one stack, because you are going to be outspeeding uh, the vampires. Anyway, you will get, well, you're not, you're tying speed with the vampires, you have speed 6 and they have speed 6, since this is swamp terrain, not dirt. So, you will have the first attack, uh, and you will basically always move first, and uh, you can just... Pick, pick off the stacks and, you know, not have to sacrifice that one stack. So go for the vamps, then the whites. Ignore morale, just to show you guys that uh, it'll still work out. Uh, here we can wait, take out the skeletons. And here I like to wait again because we are not going to one-shot the walking dead. Um, so I like to buy myself a wait turn before actually fighting the Walking Dead. Here we can already do a wait turn, and we have two attacks, and we probably will lose one null. Yeah, so we lost one. But still very acceptable. And size 4 is where it gets slightly tricky because you are, you know, if you're doing them on Dracon especially, you're not really going to have as, as big of a stack as uh, the skeletons on Galthran or the troglodytes on Shakti, so you will not be one-shotting the vamps, so you need to take that into consideration. So we do have a one stack here, and the purpose of this one stack is to keep the whites busy so we can take out the vamps. Remember, we do tie speed with the vamps, so what we got to do here is we got to uh, have them, you know, we, can't, we cannot wait with these guys, right? So we got to move down, uh, down here to keep the whites busy. Now the vamps move over here, and we need to attack them from this hex specifically, because... Uh, if we do that, the skeletons are going to move down and we're going to be able to hit the vamps from this hex the next turn and the skeletons will not reach us. So, from this hex, we do not kill them. So see, if we moved up, if we attacked from any of these hexes, the skeletons would have actually moved more horizontally and we would have not have had a hex where we can attack these guys and still be saved from the uh, skeletons. But this way, we attack from this hex right here where the skeletons cannot reach us. And now we can take off the pick off the whites. Uh, here we actually uh, should not attack the skeletons because if we do, we get hit by the Walking Dead. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over here, 
Now we can. Now we can actually attack the skeletons, make sure the Walking Dead do not hit us. And here, once again, I like to buy myself a wait turn. This way, um, we get to hit them twice and uh, they only deal damage from one retaliation rather than one retaliation plus one attack. So we ended up losing seven nulls for a maxi crypt. I would say it's very acceptable. Of course, if you have more nulls, if you have enough of them to actually one shot the uh, vamps, then you can do this with no losses the same way that I did the size three crypt. Like if you get some external uh, null dwellings. All right, guys, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helps you. And as always, guys, feel free to follow my Twitch stream for more English-speaking Heroes 3 content. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.